Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and today is a hands-on with the Lenovo ThinkPad T460S. I'm super excited, uh, so let's get to it. So some of the specifications on the ThinkPad T460S. Now this particular model right now that we're doing hands-on is running a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5 6th generation processor. Comes with an Intel HD 520 graphics processor. The cool thing about this laptop, it comes with four gigs double DR4 soldered memory, which is integrated to the motherboard, but you're able to upgrade it to 20 gigs of memory. Comes with a 256 gig solid state drive. The webcam is 720, and it comes with a beautiful 14 inch anti-glare LED display with a resolution of 1980 by 1080, giving us full HD. Primary operating system is Windows 1064 Pro Edition. All right, so if you're facing the laptop to the point that you're able to open it up, if we turn it to the left-hand side, so let's take a look at all the ports. So on the left-hand side, you have your AC power adapter port, you have a 3.0 USB, and you have your card reader. This right here is your ventilation, and right in the middle you have your hybrid port uh, because you're able to hook up a headphone as well as a microphone. On the other side we have our lock mechanism to lock it down. We have an Ethernet port right here between the lock mechanism and the Ethernet port. We have a SIM card slot which is pretty awesome. Uh, we have an additional 3.0 USB port and this one right here from my understanding is an OTG on the go uh, power. An HDMI a mini display port and another 3.0 USB port. And this is a first, this is actually a smart card reader port. When you open up the lid, you can see this beautiful keyboard. Uh, you have the signature Lenovo ThinkPad red little uh, mechanism in the middle. This right here is like a joystick, controls your mouse. Uh, you have the mouse pad right here. One cool thing about the T460S is it has a uh, fingerprint scanner, which is awesome. You can actually use it with the Windows 10 to log in rather than using a pin or a password. And your power button is actually located over here on the upper right corner. Okay, so it's come to the point in our hands-on review of boot time. So how fast is this laptop gonna boot up? Again, it's running a Windows 10 X 64-bit Pro Edition operating system. Uh, solid state drive is a 256 with eight gigs of memory. And so I'm super excited that uh, we're gonna power it on. So I have my little pebble right here with the timer. And so I'm going to press the power button at the same time and the timer, and we are going to do go. All right, so... I know you guys can't see the watch, but the watch right now is 15.97 seconds, and that's pretty fast for booting up. Again, uh, it, it did a straight login. Uh, I didn't have to enter a username and password, but most likely if you guys have it protected, uh, I would say give it maybe two or three more seconds added to the 15 seconds that it took to boot this up right now. Also, if you have other services like Dropbox or other applications that need to load up, that's gonna take some time. But again, 15 seconds is not that bad for the ThinkPad T460. So what's the performance on the Lenovo ThinkPad T460S? Now I ran two applications to test the benchmarking out, and I ran uh, Mobile Mark 2014 as well as PC Mark. Now on Mobile Mark, I ran an Office Suite uh, benchmarking, and it gave it an overall of 1726 out of 2000, which is pretty good. And this application, when it does, it runs Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. Uh, it goes online using Chrome. It uh, views videos. It does purchasing. It goes to social media sites and just do day-to-day -day stuff that we do. Uh, it does all that stuff in sequences. Then it stops about five minutes, and it does it again. Now, it took seven times to do all that stuff until the battery completely died. And the battery life was about 490 minutes, which is roughly around eight hours, which is not that bad. I was really satisfied with that result. The second test that I did on Mobile Mark was the media benchmarking. Now, media benchmarking deals with Adobe Premiere, Google SketchUp, as well as Photoshop. Now, with Photoshop, what it does is editing high-quality photos and converting them to HDR images and then importing and exporting them and doing all that stuff. 
With Premiere, it's rendering high quality video to 1080p or 720 and in Google SketchUp it's rendering files importing and exporting it does that several times again it pauses in between about 5 to 10 minutes or 20 minutes and it does it again it took about 17 times to do all those three steps and the battery life only lasts about 451 minutes. Mobile Mark gave it an overall performance of 1830 out of 2000, which is really good. The second application that I used to do the benchmarking was PC Mark 8. And uh, this application breaks it down into several divisions. Uh, I did a, a test on curvativity, as well as storage, home, and work usage. For the curvativity part, as you guys can see, that consists of video editing. Uh, doing mainstream gaming, music to the go, doing some web browsing. Uh, it gave it a score of 2552, but as you can see, it didn't even recognize the graphics card at all. Uh, for the home, home is basically doing writing, video chatting, doing a couple of Photoshop editing stuff, casual gaming, web browsing, video chatting. Uh, it gave it 26.75, but if you guys look at the chart, it's on top three, is number three right there. You got 4K gaming, gaming PC, and then you got the score right there. It kind of beat this notebook, which had an Intel Core i7 processor with an NVIDIA GeForce card. This laptop actually beat it with the score, which is pretty cool. For the storage, this is reading and writing. Uh, some of the stuff is like Photoshop, opening up the application, exporting, importing. Uh, Premiere, Illustrator, same thing, Excel, uh, analyzing data, importing data. The score gave it 4960. And the last one was work. Work is consists of writing, uh, calculating stuff within Excel, chatting, browsing the web, uh, doing more video chatting. Uh, again, the score gave it 2933, and that's on top number three. And uh, it actually beat this notebook right here that was running an Intel Core i7 processor, fifth generation and it had an NVIDIA GeForce card, so that's pretty awesome. Again, the graphics card is only an Intel HD 520, and it's on top number three, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so some of the Q&A. So a lot of you guys asked a lot of questions or you, what you wanted me to do in the hands-on, uh, because I did the unboxing and I wanted some feedback on what you guys really wanted me to, to you know, do on this laptop. Uh, one of the things was the keyboard. Um, my opinion is the keyboard is very responsive, very quick, smooth, no problems with the layout of the keyboard, very standard from my understanding. Uh, the only thing is sometimes when I want to do a like an Alt F4, it, it, it does the main command, so I, I got to make sure I press the function Alt F4, additional stuff to do. But the feel of it is pretty good. Uh, the, the letterings are actually printed on the keys. So if you have greasy fingers, eventually that stuff is going to wear off. Uh, I like the scanner feature, even though I haven't used it a lot. Another question that you guys asked was the display. This is the highest quality that we could get in display. And the resolution is a 1080p, but this is the brightest that we could get. I'm telling you. And, uh, and this is actually the lowest that we can get right here. So I'm actually going to lower it all the way. That's it. As you, you guys can see, this is actually the lowest uh, that I could go on the display. And the highest that I can go on the display is this right here. It's not too bright. And I think the fact that it's not too bright is because, again, the display has an anti-glare technology that doesn't give you that nice shine. Plus, it's touchscreen, too, which is pretty cool. It's not glossy. The display is matted. It's not one of those glassy glass looks like we normally see on a MacBook. Now, another thing that uh, was asked in one of the comments from my unboxing when I did an unboxing on this laptop is how hot does this machine get underneath? Because a lot of you guys like to put these laptops on your lap to work. So I have my trusty uh, little temperature thing right here. And this laptop has been running throughout the entire hands-on review. So I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to flip it right here. It's a little warm and let's see the reading so it is actually running 88 88 so that's that's pretty warm I think when I was using when I was doing all the benchmarking this machine actually got up to like 98 degrees which was really hot but it was still it was still running with no problem with ease uh, you know it's it's a pretty good laptop 
Overall, guys, I think the Lenovo ThinkPad T460 is a great laptop. I don't think it's a great laptop for gaming. It's a great laptop for work and home use. Uh, this machine is built for the enterprise, everyday work person. You could take it home, go traveling with it, do word processing, do a couple of things online. It's great. The performance is there. The battery is there. Eight hours of life. That's great. You know, you can actually stretch it a little bit more depending on how you guys use it. Overall, I'm super satisfied with this laptop. Uh, I mean, it has all the ports that I need to continue working on the fly when I travel. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty durable. It's, it's upgradable. Again, it comes with 4 gigs integrated. And uh, there's a slot for a 16 gig module, which would give you overall 20 gigs, which is awesome. Uh, again, this model right here is an i5 processor, but you can get the i7 processor and bump up the CPU, which is awesome. Uh, the storage size is there, 250 gigs of solid state drive. Boot time is fast, performance is fast. I could do a couple of things like editing, Photoshop with no problem. Uh, and I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good find, it's a good buy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this hands-on, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.